One of the most important things to do on the first day of class is to, it's your one chance to set expectations. And so you get to frame how the rest of the, the semester will go. Um, when I, uh, the more radical the ideas that I'm trying in class, the more I like to do two things. One is to, pre to present the evidence for why I believe uh, this works. And two, to recognize the students' motivations and goals for taking this class. So for example, when I taught an introductory course for engineering majors, and I was trying some pretty uh, novel invent and tell practices where students were gonna struggle, I not only pointed out that, that I recognized that they were going to, to be frustrated as they approached the content, but also the research that showed that this uh, produced more learning and higher grades, and I, rec and I acknowledged to them that as incoming engineering students, grades was their highest priority. And so I wasn't doing this just to satisfy my own interests, but to advance theirs. On the first day of class, I don't like to go over my syllabus. So I only go over the bare minimum of what is really important to know right away, like that there is a warm up they need to complete before each class, including the next class. I encourage students to read the syllabus on their own and provide other structures on my course webpage to support students finding out what they need when they need it. What I do like to do on the first day of class is to tell students a little bit about myself, my hobbies, my research, that sort of thing. I usually do this with a single PowerPoint slide with a collage of pictures. I will do a team building activity or experiential learning exercise to set the tone for how I want the students to engage with each other in class. For example, I might give them a jumbled up rope and give them a constrained about amount of time to come to a 100% consensus about whether there will be a knot in the rope when they pull it straight without touching the rope beforehand. Then I use the debrief to talk about topics such as collaboration and inclusion. Then, after that, I will give a broad introduction to the topics we explore in the class along with applications before diving into some content. By doing these types of interactive activities, I want to help students connect with me as a human. I want to help them understand how we will work together to support each other's learning. And I want to get students excited about the course material. When I walk into class on day one, one of the first things I tell my students is that I'm not here to teach them physics. I'm here to help them learn physics. It's their brain. It's their thinking. It's their learning. I cannot access their brain. I can't open up their brain, pour physics in, and shut it. You know, it'd be a minimum wage job if that was the case. So as teachers, what are we doing? Well, we are here to help students learn. And I tell them it's your responsibility to do what you need to learn. My job as a teacher is to give you all the resources possible and to make sure that the course is set up for you to succeed. But I'm not a, I don't teach physics, really. What I do, I help students learn physics. One of the things that uh, I try to do on my first day of class is um, learn a little bit about my students. Um, and so, you know, we'll go around the room and um, I'll ask the students to describe something that they're either proud of or something uh, interesting about them. Um, and I think that's really important. Um, and just getting to know your students and establishing that relationship with the students outside of um, the academic work. Um, and I think that's important to include like throughout your, your coursework. Um, I, I think this relationship building is, is just crucial for making sure the students understand that, you know, you're, you're, you're on their side, you know, you're with them um, and you're, you're doing everything in their sort of best interest. Right. Um, and, and I think when you can establish these relationships, you know, you establish trust in the classroom and um, you, you can establish this environment where everybody's kind of looking out for each other. Because I think group work is so valuable and it takes up a lot of the class time that I have, it's really important to me to have students work in small groups on the first day of class. I think a lot of them expect physics to be a lot of me lecturing and them carefully taking notes about all these equations, but that's not how my class operates, and I tell them that up front. Uh, most of the time is going to be spent discussing, solving problems, doing experiments in small groups, and so on the first day, I like to have students work together on some fun approachable problem or engineering challenge. The content isn't really important. It's just that they have to work together and they're going to have a good time doing it. And I give them like 15 minutes to work together on whatever challenge problem they have in front of them. And then we talk about how it went and how they work together. I talk about the value of listening to other students' ideas, and I give some examples of ways that they can organize and contribute to group problem solving. 
And I find that sets up helpful, even if not perfect expectations of what the students are gonna do in the rest of my class.